Hey, it's Phil Simon, author of Zoom for Dummies. Here is a tip on reporting. So right now, I'm in the profile of an admin. How do I know that? Because the role here is admin. And as an admin, I'm going to open this up in a new tag tab. Zoom restricts the reports that this person can run. Right. So if I go here, log in again, go under reports, see, I just see usage reports here. Now let's say that I want this particular person, Hans, to be able to run some other reports. Well, as the account owner, I'm gonna go back in here and go under user management. I'm sorry, I'm going to go under role management. Coffee has not kicked in yet. I'm going to create a new role going to call that role reporting I'm going to click add now for this particular role I'm going to go down to reports and I'm going to let this person run usage reports as well as user activity reports I'm going to hit save changes and now if I go back to users I'm going to look at Hans again, and I see here how he's an admin. I am going to make him a reporting analyst. Click on save. All right. So I have increased his capabilities in his role. All right. Now if I click refresh here, boom, now I have usage reports, right? meeting reports. So I have effectively increased his reporting capabilities. Um, if I log out of here, let me just try one more thing. Sign in. Let's go back in as Hans. Hello. All right, click on reports and see here usage and user activity reports. So effectively, I had to log back out, not uncommon in Zoom, but this way I have not made Hans an owner. I have simply made him a more powerful um, admin who can write additional reports. This is Phil Simon, author of Zoom for Dummies.